Okay, I think we are finally up and running. It looks like, man, I haven't recorded on PC in fuck knows how long. I think like pretty much the last time I did it was when I was recording clips for my end of the year list. Anyways, welcome everyone to Daughters of Ash. Man, this is gonna go up late. I was having trouble with the mod because knowing my luck, uh, of course I would not have or would have trouble with getting the mod to work. But I did get it to work. This is Daughters of Ash. People have been requesting the shit out of this. I don't know what to name my character. This is always... This is always... Something I struggle with. I think we are gonna go... This is, I was looking at the characters I have on this profile, and one of them was, I think my cousin was over, and we were just like fucking around on this game, and he made a character and named it Kolbas, which is uh, sausage in Hungarian. I thought I'd honor that by naming this character so. Carrying on the legacy, you know, of Kolbas, uh, Kialbasa, various other names for this across Eastern European languages. I think I'm going to play, I don't even remember the classes, this bald fuck. Uh, I th what, what would be interesting? What like class I don't normally play? I don't normally play, I don't really play hunters. Let's go for the hunter. We are going to take the master. What the hell is an etched ring? Ominous relic set to make one's journey more challenging. Oh yeah, because we are on Daughters of Ash. We are on Daughters of Ash. Sunlight Elixir. I think we are gonna... Okay, this at least tells me that this shit works. You know what? We're gonna take the Pendant. We are going to take the Pendant. We are like a bitch-ass archer, so we're gonna go slim. We're also gonna be pale as shit because all we do is hide in the woods. And we are gonna have... Uh ponytail because of course this guy would have a ponytail and we are gonna go with dark purple hair I think I made a perfect archer we're gonna customize as well the only reason I'm doing this is because well this is daughters of ash so it's only fitting that I spend a bit more time god I've forgotten how creepy characters in this game look Let's not go for this is like way too <laughs> Yes. <laughs> this is hell yeah. Mace Windu before he, you know, fell off the deep end and became a Jedi. By the way, something uh, is okay. I think this is not going to change. I don't think they read it the pre-rendered cinematics, but it's been like years since I've seen this and this is Daughters of Ash, so we are going to, uh, you know, we're gonna look at the possibilities. Anyways, uh, one thing I should explain, this is vanilla prepare to die edition. So this is not the remaster, the mod is now available. Actually, you know what, I'm not that interested in this cutscene. Uh, this is not the remaster, the mod is available now on the remaster as well, but you know... Oh shit, this is not good. This is muy not good. Fuck, it's not working. Hold on, there we go. What the hell is going on? Hold on, this is some setting shit. Uh, uh, okay, we are back. Uh, full screen now. I will admit, I will admit that, just like usual, I did not read shit. Uh, you are supposed to turn off anti-aliasing and motion blur. This is not even because of the mod, this is because of DS fix. Alright, so I'm assuming controls are the same. Uh, I'm already noticing one major difference. <laughs> it just says no effect, that they don't fuck around. Uh, a mysterious night, yeah, 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 okay. If you don't know, for the uninitiated who do not know what Daughters of Ash is, I think everybody who plays my... Oh, hello. 
who knows my channel knows what the hell uh you you for sure would be able to like drag this corpse down here uh who know my channel probably know what the hell this is this is a massive mod uh some dude did for dark souls rebalances a lot of things adds cut content changes item descriptions changes paths uh updates the lore a little bit but still leaves kind of the original flavor you know the you know this is like dark souls is a steak you know and he he just changed the flavor of the butter on top you know that's that's all he did he didn't mess around too much with the core because the core is already there it's a steak well cooked steak and you know He's just adding chipotle butter on top. You know what's godlike on steak? Oh yeah, this is gonna probably go the same way. It's not gonna go the same way. By the way, I've long prepared uh, for playing this mod. So I stayed away from any, any playthroughs of it. Hunter's Shield. Oh shit, he... Are you kidding me? He busted the floor. Can we make him fall down? So I've long prepared for... Ha! <laughs> Eat shit, bitch. Are they gonna... They are fighting! Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. We got a humanity out of it. Uh, that was crazy. So, I was preparing for playing this. I had a feeling that one day I'm gonna get around to this. Uh, so I purposely avoided looking at basically anything involved with this mod, so... Consider this blind. Th this is a blind playthrough. Obviously, you are dealing with... Oh, it's locked. And there's somebody in... Who the hell is that? It's a fucking... Shit, what is the vampire... Digimon called You know which one I'm talking about uh, Mysteriumon or something That's him That is him It's locked That's gonna be crazy whoever that is I'm for sure it's hostile um, Yeah, obviously again you are dealing with a Dark Souls expert uh, who has played this game so much that it could be considered sad. But we are not here to discuss that. I just want to play this game. Modded. There is also a mod available at this point for, I think, all three of the mainline games. Uh, but I don't have any of the... I don't have any of the other ones on PC, and I'm not sure. I mean, they're dirt cheap, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. I mean, listen, I don't think they added any new NPC interactions, although there are, there is cut, like side quests. So maybe, just maybe, they spiced that up as well. Uh, but this is, you know, there is a very good reason I wanted to play this. The reason why everybody wants to play this mod, it's because you get to experience the game fresh, you know. Everybody who is a Souls fan, you know, wishes they could just, you know, wipe their memory and just replay the game from scratch because of just you know that first playthrough is always magical uh with any souls game especially the first first one like the first time you ever play one of these souls games uh, okay let's look at these i'm gonna be looking at item descriptions the asylum is a giant undead prison segmented by countless iron grates but even if a hero found the key in lord run to liberate this prison would he have the means or the heart to ever come back Chosen undead pilgrims were rewarded with this key. Few would have used it had they known what awaited them in the ruined world beyond. Okay, this is the one that unlocks. 
The one I'm curious about is does this key unlock Mysterymon's cell? I'm I'm f pretty sure he's not called Mysterymon. You know which one I'm talking like people who have knowledge of Digimon they know what's up. And if you have knowledge of Digimon, you are all right in my book. Shit, it's still locked. Oh, the other thing I wanted to try. Obviously, my HP is not full. And it's still not full. I think you have to probably restore yourself, don't you? Whatever. I'm gonna stop fucking around. So wait, the question is then, what the hell is over here? Wait! Oh yeah, yeah, I did rest. No, no, no. I was like, hey, they didn't just like straight up introduce respawning enemies, did they? But they didn't because I was being stupid. Okay, I think I know how to... Okay, I got the basics down at least. And this... I will actually try using my bow and arrow this time around. You know... I did that Hunter playthrough years ago at this point and to this day like random bitches just find that playthrough and even still I get comments like hey bro you didn't even use your bow fuck you and yes I realized I did not use my bow and that is something you know I will forever feel guilty about hey, hey you know it haunts my dreams really but yeah I did not use the thing enough the bow oh it's a bottomless box soul of a lost cleric yeah I didn't use it enough in that playthrough I apologize I'm going to really work hard on changing that but it's gonna really depend on whether these people have improved the uh, usefulness of bows because bows in this game are kinda shitty yeah okay I think we can just go can't we there's gonna be some tr you, you know there's gonna be some trick oh hello there's a platform here there's gonna be some trick he's gonna jump out right he did not jump out I was really 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 expecting it uh, I have 2000 souls I was gonna say let's go down there and fight him but a little bit too risky I don't know if I'm that much of an expert so anyways oh man I'm hyped for this I am really hyped for this uh, sorry that it has taken so long the crows didn't say shit that it's taken this long to get around to this but well you know how it is you know how it is. So this should all play out fairly similar. Man, this this is probably the best character I've made on this game. Shout out to the clip through ponytail. Uh, this is probably one of the best characters I've ever made in this game. And I am happy that I get to share this playthrough with Colbas, i.e. Sausage. You are going to be well versed in Hungarian lore by the time you are done with this playthrough. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm in a super good mood today, by the way. Uh, despite being really tired of sitting at home, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, listen, I'm not, despite what this YouTube channel might imply, I do actually enjoy going out and socializing. And it's been hard, man, like this Corona shit. Uh, I just wanna go, just wanna go. Looks like the, yep, that tree, instant. How is it sitting there? 
first thing we are gonna do... Oh yeah, I am playing this on offline. Uh, I think online doesn't actually work with this mod. So... That's one of the things. I like that they introduced this health loss mechanic. Uh, health loss mechanic is... Now here's the question. Did they... Nah. I was gonna say, did they do anything to resistance? But... I don't think they did. You know what? I think we're gonna get an attunement slot for power within, eventually. Am I going to be a dex build? I mean, I pretty much have to be a dex build, right? And also, I am taking suggestions for a main weapon. Just, you know, try not to make it something that's gonna get me, you know, I almost said downwards, but dislikes. It's almost a downward at this point. And we're still happy, though. He makes me smile. Just look at those eyes. Okay, he says the same things. Which, again, I'm gonna test the NPCs. But, as far as I know, that is not changed. NPC dialogue and likes. There are some items here. Maybe this is all purple moss. And, you know, listen. Pretty much how I play Dark Souls is I rush through the game. So some of these items might already be like this in the original game. I just tend to, you know, not bother with them and never pick them up. Fuck off, mouse, out of here. Uh, that's gonna happen a lot. Recording off of... Man, I fucking hate recording off of PC. Even though at this point, you know, I did like major upgrades to my PC uh, last July. So, like, this is a great PC now. But still... I've never been much of a PC Let's Player. One of these is gonna be a Mimic. I would... That would actually be hilarious. Okay, these are the same. Same so far. Did that make this a Mimic? Damn it! I'm almost disappointed, you know. Lloyd's Talismans. So same. I mean, this was a pretty perfectly... Oh, what up? Hello there. What up, homeboy? If not... Yeah, we are going to keep the distance. Social distancing from Petrus is pretty important. I mean, you know, anybody with a haircut... That looks like that is a little bit sus. I mean, he is a priest, technically. You don't know what he does to kids. Oh, he gives you something different. He asks you to join his weird religion, you know. Yeah, we'll do it. We're gonna be getting hella achievements for this, too. Uh, cause why? Like, when was the last time I played the PC version? I think I bought this because uh, Prepare to Die came out earlier on PC. And... Wanted that sweet YouTube money, you know. Come again. Uh, by being the first. Which I obviously wasn't the first to upload Prepare to Die. But... I tried to be. And... That's basically my story. That's why I have this on PC as well. But I'm hella not gonna buy the remaster. I like the remaster. I have it on one console. And that is enough. So, in terms of how much the, the pathing for this game changes, things like the bells and major bosses 
as far as I know, are exactly the same. It's how you get to... Fuck. It's how you get to them where things... Might differ. So I'm gonna treat this as a normal Dark Souls 1 playthrough. For the most part. Except for the few interruptions. But you know, like, this is... Already I'm liking this because... Again... Because you've played this game a million times. Well, most of us have. Like, I, I tend to rush through this game, too. You know, I don't really... Oh, fuck you. I was expecting... Some tricks. This is for all the people who complained about me not using my bow. I'm gonna stop bringing that up, but... You know, it's not like I hold a grudge or anything. Or do I? I'm only kidding. It was fair criticism. I was being an idiot. Yeah, I was just YouTube money farming. Because, hey, ultimate guys are popular. Perish of... Uh, perish... Oh, they changed the... Yeah, this has changed. The perish outskirts city of the undead. I think that's what it says. I just thought of a terrible joke. I'm not even going to say. I'm going to... Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to say it. It's Paris. Said by Sean Connery. Da I, I'm sorry. And is that not, let's not die to this guy. You are dealing with a expert Dark Souls 1. Oh, I got the armor. Hey. Dark Souls 1 speedrunner and world record holder. I don't know what I hold the world record for. Not knowing how to navigate this game is a Oh shit. Wait. This has yes. I mean, this is still a short sword. The best weapon category in this game. I'm gonna hit every single chest, and you know it. Berg Latchkey. <laughs> sound, sounds like some... I don't know. It sounds like a Bulgarian. Apologize to any Bulgarians. Berg Latchkey. Where the hell is it? Unlocks many residences in the city of the undead. Exactly. Don't do that. Don't do what they did. Thanks for the shard. Man, I'm like really... I'm like really fired up by this game. Honestly. I liked... I liked playing Hollow Knight. I really enjoyed, like, I I'm playing Hollow Knight right now. As in, not right now. But I'm playing Hollow Knight. And on my own. And it was really fun, but, you know, it was a blind game. A blind playthrough. So... I couldn't let loose as much. Because I had to concentrate on the game quite a bit. Oh shit. Stomped. Had to concentrate, you know, on the game a little bit more than if I was playing a game like this, which I'm familiar with, but this is also new. You know, I can focus a little bit more on telling stories and making jokes instead of just straight up. Oh yeah? Just focusing... You know, just no life in the game. And that's why I think this is gonna be fun. There's some shit down there. Oh yeah, now that I'm on my second playthrough of Hollow Knight. Oh! I didn't expect... I think I... 
no matter which character, no matter which console, I always skip the first line for this guy. Let's use this Bulgarian. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm safe. Let's kiss now. I thought I might never escape. I am cool. I was just coming in here for this. Great. Welcome. Nice. Hella nice, actually. It's kind of exactly what I needed. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes. This is what I want. It's like this is directed by Ryan Johnson. This playthrough of Dark Souls 1. My expectations are subverted. Very much so. Oh, you can hella get up there. No, you can't. You have to drop from above. Make sure to get the ladder first. Okay, there's for sure a bonfire here somewhere. Alright. You know, I was just about to say that I'll get to the bonfire. Maybe it's time to call the episode. Episode 1. But now... I am tickled, you know. On where the fuck this bonfire could be. 1994. Oh shit. Oh yeah? Is that how we're playing? I can play dirty as well. Okay, he can play dirty better. I enjoy this. They, they seem to be weakened, Balder Knights. Because normally they, they take a... Like you need at least a plus one or two weapon to kill these dudes, right? Oh, that's another thing that I'm consistently hearing about this mod, is that it's pretty damn difficult. Not as hard as the Dark Souls 2 one. The Dark Souls 2 uh, mod, it has a name, like a subtitle as well, which I don't know. But apparently that one is like almost dickishly difficult. Not sure if we're gonna try that. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna miss that Crystal Lizard, I have a feeling. It's all good. What is a quit and reload for but this? We'll come back, you know, we won't, we won't cheat the system. Oh yeah, no quick climb mechanic. They could have added that. That's what I would have added. Cool, I still know how to jump. This game is giving you a lot of throwing knives, which almost suggests to me that maybe throwing knives have been... Oh yeah. I was really worried there for a second. I got stuck between the both of them. And knowing these enemies, I would have been absolutely fucked if they started wailing on me. Alright. Not a bonfire in sight. I, I was gonna imagine that they could have put it up there, but... I guess not. Alright, Greg's is still there. Hey, you wanna come with me? Provide fire support. Listen. Base skills are unchanged. I think. Maybe later on I'll be, you know, singing a different tune, as they say. Right now. If you break this door down on me. I'm just gonna parry your ass. It's my song lyrics. Okay, I'm about to die. Let's not do that. This is, you know, the intriguing part of this is, oh fuck. The intriguing part of this is how much of the items and stuff they changed. 
you know, like I just picked up a copper coin. Like, is that changed? Like, will it have any benefits? Because normally that item is completely useless. It does nothing, as far as I know. We can trade it for something. Oh shit! Oh, I like it. I like it. Keep the tricks coming, game. Keep the tricks coming. It looks like bows are unchanged. Which means... In terms of like sniping with them... They're very powerful. Like bows happen to be simultaneously pretty broken in this game, but also kind of OP. Burglatch key. Nice. I was gonna say, I was just about to say, if I had to guess, it was gonna be here, down there at the end, or in that tower, but it's here. Alright boys, I am liking this. I am tickled suitably by this game. Daughters of Ash, that was episode 1. This is gonna go up late. I apologize that this is gonna go up late. Eh, started recording late. It's just how it is. Yeah, I was figuring out how to get this shit to work and it still didn't work. I almost failed. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like. Likes really help out. Also, feel free to leave comments on whatever you want. Weapon suggestions, all that. Only thing I ask, really, really ask, is please don't spoil this. Uh, normally, you guys are very good at not spoiling stuff, but still. Somebody spoiled something for me in, when I was streaming. I don't remember. I think Death Stranding or something, which I was kind of pissed about. But this one will keep it blind. So make sure to give it a like if you're new here. Subscribe. Hey, welcome. What's up? Probably gonna leave my Discord in the description just in case. Wink, wink, join. And yeah, peace out. Goodbye.